In this video, we would like to show you how to make your own cloth pads with our Make Your Own Kit. These are the materials you need. An organic cotton flannel top layer, the inner absorbent layers, also from organic flannel, the bottom layer made from cotton with a polyurethane leak-proof laminate. To stitch them together, you need a needle, thread and press buttons. We will start with the inner layers. Place them neatly on top of each other and pass a running stitch through them to keep the layers together. Make a knot and cut off the thread. In the next step, we are sewing the inner layers to the top layer. Place the inner layer symmetrically on the pink so that you have the same stitching margin on all sides. You can pin the ends to keep them from moving when you're stitching. Use a small running stitch and follow the shape of the bone. The smaller the stitch, lesser will be the friction and wear of the thread when you're washing your pad. Make sure you keep the knots on the inside where the white fabric is on top of the pink and not on the outside. Now we will stitch this onto the leak-proof layer. Cotton against cotton, the leak-proof layer is on the outside. We start stitching here, near the wing, and follow the contour of the pad. Stay close to the edge and keep that same distance all around. Leave a gap open of around 4 cm. This is the best place to keep the gap as it will be easier to close a relatively straight part of the pad rather than a curved part. It will look neat too. Again, we use a small running stitch. The smaller, the better. Now we will turn the pad inside out. Push it through the opening and softly pull it out, bit by bit, without putting a strain on your thread. With your fingers, you push and rub the fabric to the stitch. Pull out the wings as well. Now we will close the gap. Double each of the layers inside. We will then use a small blanket stitch of two millimeters to give the pad strength. We will close the gap, but also go all around the pad to give that strength and to make the edges sit flat. When you need to change your thread, you can make a knot on the rim, then carefully push the needle in along the surface of the pink fabric. Make sure not to touch and puncture your leak-proof layer. You come out, pull the thread a little and cut it. The thread will disappear inside. Then you take a thread without a knot and you enter the fabric. Again, you stay just under the surface to come out where your previous stitch ended. 
you can hold the thread in place pressed between the layers. And there you continue with the blanket stitch. This fixes itself and you do not get knots on the outside. If you have any fabric peeking out, before you stitch, just push the pieces back in. You can do this with the blunt part of your needle. If you did a small enough running stitch in the previous step, you will see that very few or no pieces at all will stick out. Now you have finished the blanket stitch all around. And you can attach the buttons. There are two parts. Make sure you stitch the right side up. You can test this by closing the button parts. I only stitch the buttons onto one layer of the wing, as that will look nicer. It is better to make a few knots to secure the buttons well. And in order to finish it nicely, you can push the thread in so that the thread end is on the inside. Check how much space you have and where you would like to place the second button. This button will go onto the leak-proof layer. Now your pad is ready. You can fold your pad like this. This is an easy way to carry your clean or soiled pads. Don't forget to wash before first use. Enjoy your pad!